Dawson's Rentals. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a different little type of video addressing where do I buy my stuff? Except Ace, you'll never know where to find Ace. This is a question or one of a series of questions that I get a lot and I'll admit I've kind of become more of a jerk about it in recent years just because you have to understand after doing this for like eight or whatever years it is, I get so many of these questions and it just kind of gets tiring after a while so if I've ever appeared less than nice about it, I am sorry. And I may have some snark in this video just because that's kind of the way I am but I don't mean anything by it. Um, because my first tip is a little bit snarky, but I think it'll be helpful to you. So like before I tell you everywhere to buy stuff, I have a, a, like an all-purpose answer. If you ever want to know where do you buy something, uh, where do you watch something, I have a friend, he's really good, or she, who knows, really good at helping you out, Google. They'll tell you anything you want to know instantly. My main thing is, is that it's not even so much about me being annoyed about being asked, I just literally don't understand why you wouldn't want, like, this is America, I want it now! I can't even imagine having to wait, like, anywhere up to an hour to a month for an answer when Google will literally just tell you right away. And a couple times throughout the years, you know, just to make sure I'm not crazy, like, I've Googled, like, you know, where to buy tokusatsu toys or where to watch Kamen Rider, and, like, on the first page is pretty much all the options I've ever used. So, honestly, just try that. Like, again, that sounds kind of snarky, but, I mean, that's literally true, I just wanted to say that. But, as for actual answers, let's start with Power Rangers stuff. Um, kind of lumped in with this is just anything local, like Ben 10, Big Hero 6, anything else I've ever covered. Uh, local, he's not facing straight. There we go. Basically, the store. No, I mean, not a grocery store. Although, some Kroger's have had stuff. Like, there's like a big Kroger store here that has toys. But you know what I mean. Like, Targets, Walmarts. Basically anywhere you know that will sell main toys. Like I know some places of the, this timeline have a store called Meyer that looks like it should be said Medger. Um, but basically anything like that. I mean, same thing for online. Amazon actually has been pretty solid at stocking Power Rangers toys. I mean, I feel like that stuff's pretty self-explanatory. Certain parts of the world won't get it soon, so I don't know everybody's schedule, but I do know that Toys R Us still exists in the Canada timeline as they were getting Beast Morpher stuff uh, before us, um, so that's a possibility, but like I don't know like about the UK or anywhere else, but you know, mainly in the US, just anywhere that you normally see toys, you know, or have seen PR before, um, and just online retailers, I think that's the simplest one. Um, when you get into the sort of more um, questionable things, there's like Ryder and Sentai, which, again, I'm going to lump together just as, like, toku toys, um, as far as importing go. Uh, go? Go. Goes? I'm going ghost! I'm not. So I use a couple different sites, and then I have a, a little spiel about something, too, involving that at the end. Well, not a spiel. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, let me just continue. HLJ. HLJ is a good one. Uh, I'll, I'll link all this in the description, as usual. I'm going to try to remember to put, like, a little text on the, the, in front of me when I'm editing this, but who knows? I'm pretty, pretty forgetful. But there'll be links. But HLJ... Um, CS Toys International and AmiAmi are pretty much the core three that I use for new toys because you can do pre-orders, you can get uh, relatively recent stuff, in some cases like last year recent stuff depending on what's left over, and like all three of them have also like um, older stuff and used stuff you can get. Um, and all three have their pros and cons. Um, CS Toys, I think, has the best customer service. Uh, HLJ, you have the nice private warehouse feature, where, which is what, often what I use, which I don't know what the exact time period is, but for like at least a couple months, you can hold stuff so that if you want to create a big shipment, um, sometimes I'll do that when I'm not, you know, need to be, not needing to be urgent about something. Um, so that'll save you on shipping. AmiAmi has like a miniaturized version of that where you can basically stock the month's orders together um, and whatnot. And I think both AmiAmi and HLJ have point systems. But those are basically the core three that I've always used for current merch. In more recent years, like I said, they've all gotten... Well, CS Toys has kind of always had it. But, I mean, AmiAmi and HLJ in more recent years have gotten, um, you know, like older items like figure, figure arts or mecha that uh, they get used or, you know, or whatever to various conditions. So there's that. Um, there's also a site called Mandarake, um, which is an interesting site, which is pretty good for finding toku stuff, especially older toku stuff. I mean, you can find the newer stuff on there too, and sometimes things you may have missed. Um, and you know, you kind of have to be thorough with searching it sometimes, and they have different stores. So like, you might find something at one store and another, and just keep in mind those will have to ship separately. Like, it's all under Mandarake, but they have a bunch of different locations. And like, I would advise, 
like going on Wikipedia or something and finding like the Japanese text like for Ryu Soldier or or Die Ranger or something and copy and pasting it because that will often yield different results. Just try a bunch of different searches. That's a pretty solid place for finding older stuff at a good price. Um, ah, I'll buy it at a high price. I'd be warned about the different stores and also it's kind of a rabbit hole to fall down. Also, I mentioned in the Power Rangers discussion all those minutes ago that like you know you can find PR stuff on Amazon and that's true of Toku stuff as well both with Sentai and Rider you can find them on Amazon you can find them on eBay and a lot of people warn against it I have kind of a warning both ways as far as eBay goes lumping it back to original Power Rangers that's a pretty solid place for finding older Power Rangers merch I often get questions about like oh my god where did you find this Thunder Source Megazord like I feel like some people actually believe I found some sort of fountain of youth where I'm just plucking these old zords when in reality is, like, I'd say, like, 85 to 90 percent of it, I literally just bought in the store. Like, since, you know, I can go right now to Target and buy Beast Morphers figures. In 2004, I could do the same thing with Dino Thunder. So that's where I got most of it. But, you know, if you don't have access to time travel, eBay, I think, is one of the best places for older PR stuff. I mean, obviously, you're just going to have to be careful. You know, not every deal is going to be a good one. Someone will put up, like, Astro Megazord, $5,000, buy it now! Don't go for that. But, you know... I feel like that's pretty much common sense, like with anything you're looking for on eBay, but if you look around long enough and you're patient, you'll find a pretty good deal. I think it's a mostly solid place to look around. I think mostly the most consistent because there's always going to be stuff being uploaded on there. Um, because like other options, I mean, there might be other stuff I don't know about, but this is the stuff I know about. Like the only other options I can really think of are like, you know, Craigslist type stuff, which I'm just really not a fan of doing, but then like flea markets, which can be hit or miss. I mean, I know people that have really great flea markets, like they'll be like, oh look what I found and they like a Delta Megazord like the Turbo Navigator I'm like whoa like because mine is trash like the last time I went to the flea market the only thing uh, Power Rangers Toku related I saw was like a jumbo store Megazord um, I wasn't really that interested in general but it was also beaten up so your mileage may vary you know definitely um, if you have a flea market nearby you can get to that would be a good place to check out because you know mine might just be a lemon um, garage sales too but that's kind of hit or miss you know a friend and I went last year looking for video games at garage sales and it's very hit or miss. So, like, that's why eBay is just the best option because you don't have to go outside. That's always the best. Uh, but, you know, it's just easier and there's no real question about it. Like, you're going to find something on there eventually. So, just mini side tangent about that. For PR, I, I do recommend eBay so long as you know to, you know, wait to find a good deal. Um, just basically get good at eBay, I guess. Um... As far as other Toku stuff, it's actually not terrible for Sentai and Rider either. For older stuff, it's very similar to Power Rangers, where you're just going to want to shop around and make sure you find the deal you're comfortable with. Um, for newer stuff, it is a little bit more hit and miss, but it, honestly, back in the day, like it was a ridiculous idea to buy Toku stuff on Amazon or eBay, but I feel like it's actually gotten better in recent years. I feel like in a lot of cases, you'll still find a better deal at places like AmiAmi or HLJ, but it's not unheard of to find a solid deal on eBay or Amazon, and it's a little bit easier, and sometimes the price lowers. So, you know, if you really don't want to use any of these other sites and you can find a solid deal for writer stuff on Amazon, I'm not going to not recommend it. I mean, not so much for older stuff, because I've very rarely seen older or even really, really not really recent, but sort of recent-ish older stuff for a good price. But you can find, like, Geo stuff, and you can find Build stuff, and um, for fairly reasonable prices. I mean, again, you might be able to find a better deal somewhere else, but it's not that bad, and it's not worth ruling out if you could find a better deal or if you simply just feel more comfortable and can afford maybe spending a little bit extra on it. That's pretty much about it for the recommendations. It's pretty simple. Like I said, I'll link to the bottom at the end, and like as far as the eBay and Amazon stuff goes, just kind of use common sense, but I wouldn't rule them out entirely. And again, I'm not trying to be a jerk about the answers or anything, but I figured I'd at least make a video so I have the answers here. I made the joke one years ago, but I'm sure I'll still get asked the questions, but hopefully this is at least somewhat helpful. Anyway, until next time, before like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps, and ring that bell and the notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.